Hello everyone. I just got the uh, HGLRC F4 V5 Pro uh, from Banggood the other day and um, I noticed there wasn't really any good documentation on how to update the firmware. So I wanted to walk through that. I wanted to point out that um, in the PDF manual that I downloaded to do the upgrade, uh, it does tell you to um, press the boot button and it's this little guy here. It's a little hard to press. Uh, so I just wanted to show show you where that is. I'm going to go ahead and connect the USB to it so we can plug it in. There we go. Okay, I have Betaflight 3.11 and I've already updated the firmware on this. So um, when I initially plugged it in out of the uh, when, it, when it first arrived, I uh, connected it via Betaflight. I just plugged the USB in. I hit connect and then it was able to connect and it seemed to work fine, but I checked the version of, of the firmware that's on it. So in the CLI screen, if you do version, it'll tell you the uh, version of uh, the firmware that's on there. And when, when it arrived, it had uh, Omnibus F4 3.15. So as you can see, I already updated it to 3.17. And um, to do that, uh, you had to do a couple things. So to start off with, uh, prerequisites to doing this was I had already downloaded uh, the CP210 drivers and the STM USB drivers. So I had already had those downloaded. So um, make sure you have those uh, installed. And um, I also downloaded this Zadig tool, and that was uh, the key uh, for me to get it to work. So in the instructions you get uh, for the uh, F4 uh, V5 Pro, it says to do this uh, long press boot, and then connect the USB, or sorry, long press on the boot button, and then connect the USB. Um, so I, I did that a couple times, and then I expected to see uh, the DFU boot uh, uh, um, port selection uh, come up, but it never did. So um, I learned what you have to do is use this Zadig tool. So let me pull this up. And if you hold down the boot button, I'm going to do that now. Hold the boot button and then connect it via USB. Let's see if I can get this. Um, you should see Zadig come up with, if you do, make sure you have list all devices checked. And then you should see STM32 bootloader. You want to select that. So I already already did this, uh, but before this driver on the left was something different. And uh, you want it to be your Win USB driver. I have 6.176000. So um, if you have the STM32 bootloader selected, you want to uh, just hit uh, install driver and it'll replace the driver. So once you do that, you can close down the Zadig tool. Uh, then you want to unplug the USB and then uh, go back into Betaflight on the firmware's flasher screen download the right uh, Omnibus firmware. Uh, I had already done this, so it was uh, Omnibus F4 3.17. Make sure you have that. And then you're gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna um, press down the, uh, ho hold down the boot, the boot button on the board and then plug in the USB. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna hold down the boot and plug in the USB. Okay, now, as you should you should see the DFU option comes uh, um, shows up up here. Then you connect, and then you uh, flash the firmware, and uh, it's as simple as that. So I already did it, and I'm not going to do it again. So uh, hopefully this video will help you. Um, thanks for watching.